I support the war resistors. I support the right of war resistors to stay in Canada without fear of deportation and imprisonment for a very simple reason, because the war in Iraq was and is illegal. It is illegal under international law for countries to wage wars of aggression. It's barred under the Geneva Conventions. And we know that the war in Iraq was illegal because the claim that it was a defensive war, that Iraq was invaded because it posed an imminent threat to the outside world and to the United States, that claim has been disproved. Iraq did not have weapons of mass destruction, and we know this. So this was a war of aggression, which is illegal. Something else that's illegal under international law is pillage. Uh, the, the idea that countries can invade one another and grab their resources, grab their natural resources. And that's precisely what's in, unfolding in Iraq right now, where we learn that after this war of aggression, Western oil companies like Shell and BP are lined up for no-bid contracts to control Iraq's oil. So this is an illegal war, and that's why I support the war resistors. Soldiers are under no duty to follow illegal orders. Quite the opposite. They have a duty not to follow illegal orders. The soldiers who have refused to go to Iraq because it is an illegal war and have come to Canada are standing up for the basic principles of international law. They're not just acting on their own consciences. They are standing up for all of our security because a system of international law is our only hope for security. As a Canadian, I'm very proud that a man of peace like Jeremy Hintzman has chosen to come to Canada. These are voices and characters that enrich our society. These are individuals who have taken an enormous personal risk in choosing to resist the war, in choosing to defy illegal orders. The least we can do as Canadians is to take the much smaller risk of providing them a safe haven. I also have a personal reason for supporting the war resistors, which is that my dad was one. In 1967, before I was born, he came to Canada because he didn't want to fight in Vietnam. Around 50,000 other young Americans made a similar decision in that period. They decided to come to Canada, and our Prime Minister at the time, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, said that Canada should be a refuge from militarism. If that hadn't happened, if he had been sent back, as today's war resistors are being sent back, then I simply wouldn't be a Canadian.